Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Monday, October 10th, 2022. And I would like to uh, explore something today, another in what seems to be a series of uh, reads. Uh, let's call this one Go Woke, Go Broke, PayPal. I don't know that PayPal went woke, but they did in recent days try to implement a policy where they could find users that they had chosen um, to have spread misinformation up to $2,500 and lock down their accounts. Now, I'd like to uh, share a couple screens to kind of support the go woke, go broke hypothesis. And then we'll do a read and see what the universe wants us to know about PayPal. Okay, just a second. Now, David Marcus, who was a former president of PayPal, put out a tweet that said, it's hard for me to openly criticize a company I used to love and gave so much to, but PayPal's new AUP goes against everything I believe in. A private company now gets to decide to take your money if you say something they disagree with. Insanity. And Elon Musk had to chime in and said, agreed. Now, then... <sighs> In the wake of a lot of backlash from consumers, just today, PayPal says their policy to find customers for misinformation was an error. I think it would be more accurately to be a miscalculation of the willingness of their customer base to uh, buy into what was actually going to be the start of a social credit type of system. Okay, now I, that made me wonder, hmm, how much of a backlash have they had? Okay, one second. So I went to Yahoo Finance, which is a, a kind of a site that YouTube will, you know, approve of, and looked up some of the historical data for PayPal. It's kind of interesting. Here we go. A year ago, on the 11th, so 364 days ago, their closing share price for PayPal was $255.05. Let's scroll up and look at today. And if scrolling hurts your eyes, look away for a second, okay? Today, their closing price is $85.24. They've lost over $160 per share. So if you are making your opinions known with your pocketbook, it's working. Their share price has dropped dramatically. And if by chance you're looking for other places besides PayPal and their sister site Venmo, um, I did a quick search and found that Investopedia lists some crowdfunding platforms. And yes, one of those that they did is GoFundMe. I know when our trucker convoys had trouble with PayPal, the, uh, Christian site, Give, Send, Go, I believe, came through for them. So there are other options out there, and you can continue, if you choose, to make your opinion known of policies like this, because the more backlash consumers give, the harder it's going to be to start any type of a social credit system in the United States, as has already been started in the People's Republic of China. So let's ask the cards tonight. Okay, um, PayPal claims their policy of uh, fining for misinformation was an error, just an honest mistake, um, a miswording of their new user policy. Uh, what does the universe want us to know about that claim and about PayPal in general? Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, universe, what do you want us to know about this claim PayPal's making that that policy was an error. And about PayPal in general. Our first card is the Four of Wands. Then we have the Five of Swords, Five of Wands, 
Three of Cups, Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, and Six of Cups. Well, to me, these cards are rather interesting. The situation, their claim, um, PayPal's claim that this was an error on their part. Um, we've got the Four of Wands, which is usually a really good card. It's a card of teamwork. So it was a team decision to put that policy into play. However, since it is aspected over here, you know, it, or told, we're told a little more, it's not aspected, by the Five of Swords, which is a card of there has been a defeat without a lot of bloodshed. There's been a defeat. I don't think it was a um, something that was an easy consensus for them to have. I'm wondering if some of these big companies that are going woke in a very um, non-profitable way are having their hands forced into doing it because with this conflict card, that kind of would speak to the teamwork not being one of total willingness it's backed up by in the recent past we have the five of wands here and the wands wands are actions okay fives are kind of like a temporary type of thing so there was a lot of infighting about this policy it has not been popular okay in the present we have the three of cups now depending on our type of question the Three of Cups, yes, can mean many, many things, but normally, especially in something like that, it's a celebration card. So there are um, the objective of having this announced and having it be a big kerfuffle was absolutely something that is being celebrated. Let's see if we can figure out who. We got the Ace of Swords here, continuing that celebration of the policy and the fact that it has uh, uh, been done away with. Um, saying yay good yay <laughs> and look at what's aspecting the ace of swords we have the three of swords which is a card of sorrow and lies now they did it it's been done for the betterment of people i think to wake people up to make people realize if they don't take a stand if you don't stand for something you're going to fall for anything including social credit scores okay we have the Queen of Pentacles here for a little more information, as well as Mr. Tricky Knight of Cups. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, she is one, a card of generosity and satisfaction. So this whole play out here and the falling um, share prices are very much agreeable with those that forced PayPal's hand and caused this to be done. They are absolutely lying <laughs> when they say that it was just an error. Oops, we didn't mean to do it. And uh, yeah, no honesty involved about it because we got lies and they're not happy about it. I mean, if you were a company in your business to make money, you wouldn't want your, your share prices to be a third of what they were a year ago. Heads are going to roll over that one. Okay, so it looks like PayPal's claim is kind of false, but it's serving a purpose, and it seems to be a white hat type of purpose. I've had friends report to me as they tried to leave PayPal over this policy that it went from being an easy thing to do to a little more complicated. Now uh, PayPal wants you to explain why you're leaving, and they bounce you back and forth from customer service, but it is still possible to leave their platform and make your you know, thoughts known about how they're doing business and uh, um, how you feel about giving them that kind of autonomy to take your money because they disagree with something you say or share. And uh, folks, the power of the pocketbook. I mean, I've heard people say looking forward that have foresight. The biggest thing that's going to help our world change, besides the fact of learning how to manifest and make things happen. But part of that's going to be simply the first step is deciding when you don't want to participate in something and just quietly saying, no, it doesn't work for me. And I don't know about you, but my PayPal account is closed and it's going to stay closed. 
just like I'm never going to Disneyland again. <laughs> Have no desire to see Disney World, never did. Uh, you know, and I don't subscribe to Netflix. So you go woke, you go broke. Or at least, you know, as far as I can say, my money's not going to help you profit from your, when you start mixing politics in with your business. So if you're in the business to make money, make smart decisions that make you money. And if you're in business to uh, be politically correct, expect to have a great majority of people say, no, you don't work for me. No, this doesn't work. So we have we have a little more power than, than you think, folks. We really do. And part of making this world be what we want is going to be deciding when we want to participate, help someone profit, and uh, when we don't. So <laughs> that's it for this video. Thank you so much for your time. It's precious, and I never take for granted that you chose to spend a little of it with me. I try not to waste too much of it. Now, don't forget, this coming Sunday, we will be doing a meditation. The meditation will be happening at 10 a.m. Alaska time, 11 a.m. on Pacific, 12th Mountain, 1 Central, 2 Eastern, and then across the pond at London, 7 o'clock. Just our usual time. And uh, we're going to be thinking about things we either are celebrating that we've had some justice for, or things we would like to see justice for. Not revenge, but justice where people or entities or businesses are held accountable for actions that were wrong. And I think if we think about it, we've got more to celebrate than we think. And who knows, by Sunday, we may have even more. In the meantime, enjoy life, smile, and uh, reject any kind of fear or negativity. Keep your vibration high. Keep yourself happy. It is okay to be happy. You don't have to have a huge reason for it. Thank you so much. Until next time, good night.